Welcome to another episode of Born on Thames. Uh, we are heading to the Missouri Breaks. We're going to do some shout out today. I can't wait. It's been been too long. So uh, the mealies should be dropped by now. The majority of them, anyways, and the bulls should have started dropping. So hopefully we can find some. We're going to be actually about four miles away from where I missed my big buck this year. So. I don't want to quite go into where he's at right now, to where I, I, I believe he's at anyways. I don't want to push him out. What's going on, everybody? Me and the old dog, wherever she went, are uh, in the Missouri breaks, and we're doing some shed hunting today, so hopefully we can find some antlers. Uh, she, don't, she ain't no good at finding them either, but... We're more out here just for the exercise, so hopefully we can get on to some. There should be, uh, this is where I put in for my bull permit again. You got like a 0.2% chance of drawing it, so not very good, but you never know. Wish me luck, and we are uh, sitting here just looking at the ground. I'll kind of give you what we're what we're looking at here it's not there's some good places that I can get to and, and sit and glass which I will and uh, but for the most part I'm going to be stumbling across them look for game trails and but uh, anyways, I'll keep you guys posted, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. When you're in here with shed hunting, you gotta, in this particular spot of the brakes anyways, you got to take a couple steps, stop, and look around. Like I said, on stumbling on top of them, it's, it, you, it's pretty hard to glass this. But uh, there are places that you can glass, but it's nice. And it's public property. That's even better. So we are just out here cruising around. Seeing if uh, anything might pop up. But who knows? We are uh, taking our time, enjoying it. We're away from the city, which is the best thing. And I don't work today. That's even better. Well, hopefully we'll find something. If not, it's a beautiful day in the wilderness. Can't complain. I'm getting some good exercise. I uh, drank my pregame our pre-workout from Big Game Fit before we left. So my body's really, we're ready to go, feeling flushed. I'm ready to pack some bone out of here, so, uh, so hopefully we find something. So we're just walking this flat here and see if, uh, can't pull any sheds out of here. It'd be great to pull some sheds out of here. We are on our second pass through this uh, sagebrush opening here, this little sagebrush flat. Uh, 
Hopefully we'll turn up a handler here sooner than later. I have something to show for you guys. It's been a hard 2017 for me. It's, I forget something every time I go. Uh, like this. I don't know, it's just been, it's been a difficult year so far, but we're getting better at this. I'm starting to put everything that I need in a tote. I just throw the tote in my truck and go. The more stuff that I find that I need, then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put in there. So we are building up little by little, which is, which is good. So... Let's hope that uh, something comes of it. We can get you guys a heck of a lot better footage. I think uh, tomorrow I think I'm going to go do some fly fishing. I, I've had the itch to fly fish here for the last two months anyways. But the ice is off the river now and uh, I think it's March 4th so that gives me 40 I don't know what would it be 41 days 38 days until spring bear opens up I'm taking a week off for that and uh, do nothing but hunt bear so hopefully you guys are gonna tune in for that and uh, hopefully like I said it's hot and it's fishing if it was easy as we want it to be it wouldn't be any fun so I can't even say I want it to be that fun or that easy I do want it to be that fun but that easy excuse me um, I love the challenge of it and uh, I love the stock. I, lo I love everything about it. I love bringing home that meat. I love providing for myself. I don't have any kids or anything, but I don't have a family, so I, I, I provide for myself. But I eat every last bit of everything I, I shoot. And I, I believe in that. I believe if you're going to hunt for it, uh, I mean, that's, that's the best meat out there. Elk, deer, mountain lion antelope bear you just gotta do it right you just gotta cook it up and and you gotta experiment with it a little bit but you can't get any better more organic protein than that and that's that's the amazing part of it and to be able to provide for yourself like that and especially after the hard miles you put in looking for that big buck or that big bull or and you 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 successfully get that bull or 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 buck and it's amazing it's an amazing feeling that you just accomplish something very huge so we are we are trying that and we are gonna we are gonna get some kill shots we are gonna get some sweet good footage this this year some sweet stuff on camera uh, both video and and uh, pictures and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm sorry again. Uh, it's it's been been rough. We've been out working our butts off. Just hasn't happened yet, but it will. And uh, all I can say is thank you very much for tuning in. Well, we are uh, on our way back to the pickup. We have done nine miles in this little area. I mean, the dog, we didn't pick up a shed. It's okay. Good exercise. Threw a pack on my back just to put some weight in it. <clears throat> Start getting ready. Get over here. And, uh,. So, anyways, 
I think uh, we're gonna try to go fishing in the morning. Not quite sure, but uh, maybe. Uh, Yeah, we're going fishing in the morning. We're either going fishing or scout or, or, or shed hunting again, so <clears throat> who knows. But uh, we are almost back to the pickup, and I will uh, 